Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here today. Today I've got breaking news. That's right. I have Funko news and I have video game news all in one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set back. We're going to examine this trailer and look at the little details. And then I'm going to talk a little bit on the end of it about what I think this means and what all I think is coming. So sit back. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's check it out. But before we do, don't forget to leave that like, comment down below what you guys think of this. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys can see me do video game content and Funko content. Let's get into this. Alright guys, so let's check out this trailer. There's a little clip from The Thing. That looks like Battlestar Galactica, their initial attack from the creators of the Brick Base Mayhem. Hmm. We'll get into details of what that probably means later. Now, anybody ever wondered what it would look like if the Funkos came to life? That's probably what this is going to do and probably look like. So let's pause this and check this out. What characters can we see? We see He-Man characters, so that means He-Man will be playable in the game. Then we have Jurassic World characters. All right. Oh, Back to the Future. We have Marty and Doc. Yes. Then we have The Thing. Oh, that's an awesome night throwback. Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I love that series when it was on TV. The Umbrella Academy is one I do not know. I've never watched it. Ooh, Shaun of the Dead. I didn't even know there were pops. I gotta get those. The Mummy, Brandon Fraser's series right there. Then we also have the Universal Monsters line. And then, of course, they can't, Funko can't do this without throwing in their mascot, Freddy Funko. I'm betting, if I were the betting man, that Freddy Funko will be what you probably play through the game and go through all the worlds as Freddy Funko, fusing them together since this is called Funko Fusion. 1010 Games, Funko, and Universal are collabing to do this. And it really, really is an interesting scene. It looks like, you know, your Funko Pops will come to life. Let's pause this and check it out when they're all out of their boxes. It looks like they can fully move around and everything. It looks like a Lego game. And that's what a lot of people are saying. We will get into details of that later. We got Shaun of the Dead. We got He-Man. We got scenes from Jurassic World here. <laughs> that's funny. His head gets cut in the door. Then we have a launch tube sequence from Battlestar Galactica. The clock tower scene from Back to the Future. More Jurassic World. We'll probably spend a lot of time in Jurassic World. I'm thinking this is Umbrella Academy. Since I haven't seen it, I don't know. That's a nice crash sequence. Here's a horrifying scene from the original thing. So I'm glad they cut the gore and blood and guts out of it. So yeah, there's all kinds of clips and everything here. And what the? Is that Chucky? That was not in that little clip. But hey, we got Chucky from Child's Play in here. That is sweet. Here's some gameplay, as you guys do see. Yeah, like I keep saying, it is and plays a lot like the Lego games. I'm even worried about what the rating is going to be since Chucky and The Thing are both in this. Those are a little more creepier for kids, but if they cut the gore down, I'm betting you they can get away with it. They'll probably have Freddy, like I said, Funko Fusion, going around fusing with all the worlds. But from what I can hear, what I can find out, this is supposed to be sometime in 2024, and I'm really looking forward to this. Now let's get into the D. All right, guys. So we just watched the entire trailer. We saw all the little Easter eggs that I, I saw in there. So I'm really super stoked that we have Battlestar Galactica showing up in this, and that we also have child's play now these are probably the only two out of the lines that i own in this so um i'm not a huge jurassic world collector i didn't know there was shawn of the dead pop so i'm probably gonna be getting those but mommy okay he-man no i don't want to collect the back to the future they're skyrocketing never seen umbrella academy didn't know the thing had pops so i might start getting those and the universal monsters but let's dig into this and let's check out what we have now um, all full disclosure, I didn't know about this until I watched Dr. Applesauce's video, and I have took some screenshots from him, and also went to some of the LinkedIn and other web pages to check this out. Funko is ecstatic to announce our entry to the console via brand partnership with 1010 Games. 
by legendary video game developer, five-time BFAT award winner John Burton, formerly of TT Games. 1010 Games was founded solely, specifically found. Yeah, 10 King Games was specifically founded for this purpose. Already, it was already home to some of the most talented designers and developers on this planet. Now, a lot of people are like, and I know I was saying this too when I first saw the trailer. This looks a lot like Lego games. And now this is the only one I own anymore. Um, I've actually played through all my Lego games. Um, the only reason I own this is this is my PS3. This is the copy that goes in it. Now let's get into this. I went to Ting Ting Games just like um, Dr. Applesauce did. And John Burton is the CEO and creative director, and he is a founder of TT Games. So, there again, TT Games is who made Lego, and now he also has brought over the head designer from here, is also the head designer from the TT Games. So these two guys are the guys that created TT, are now over here making this franchise. So, now they've collabed right now with Universal, it's Funko Universal and what it is, um, you know, TT Games out there. Huge, huge library of games. Um, they're fun for all ages. Now, I am a little worried what the rating system is going to be with this because the thing, even they don't add blood and stuff into it, but there's still horror aspects of the thing and um, child's play. But we'll see what happens because I know the Lego games are all rated E. For everyone. So what are these? Are these going to be rated um, E plus 10? Or I think this, this is even E plus 10. So they might be able to get away with it. A um, little side note that I wanted to throw in here before this video is done. Um, I was recently at Como Retro Game Con. And since I went there unknowing and everything, I kind of got to sell a table there at that one. Um, here's a picture of that. But while I was there, there were a lot of people that were in the video game market that were interested in Pops. But there were also a lot of people that had no clue what a soda was. There were people that didn't really know what the Pops were. People were asking about these in the video game community. So this game will think is what I think what might actually fuse the video game world and the Pop world together and get a whole new aspect of people into this franchise. So, back to the video. It's going to be an interesting thing. It's due out sometime in 2024. Um, I'm real super stoked to see what goes on, what comes of this. You know, look, you know, the franchises that we have right now that are in this are huge. And with that little bit of an Easter egg of the Freddy Funko being over there and Fr Funko loving to shoot their mascot in here, I'm almost betting that you're going to play as Freddy Funko going through the different worlds trying to do something. And since it's called Funko Fusion, I'm betting that you're going to fuse all the worlds together. So, um, that's about all the information we really know. If more information comes up or available, I will try to get it out to you guys. If you guys like this style of video or not, um, I might just do it on a different service or something, but right now I'm enjoying this. Being a video game lover and being a Funko Pop collector, this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for this. So, been Retro Mikey 78, and I'll catch you guys later.